Hi everybody, it's Sandy. I'm trying something new. I am videoing on my actual cell phone. Haven't done that before. Uh, so this should be interesting. This is my new phone. It's a Samsung S10. And uh, I have to remember to look there, not <laughs> anywhere else. I'm so confused. Anyway. Um, I also got a new tripod and I got a remote with it. So I'm trying that out too because I'm so tired of going over and reaching for my camera and trying to turn it on and off or getting up to go around to turn it off. So I said that's it and I got um, a pink tripod. I couldn't believe it. Pink. I'll put a picture in here. Yes, I got myself a pink tripod. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know what the volume's like on this. And if I start doing the editing and find out the volume's not as great as I would like it, then I'm going to get a lapel mic and see how that goes. I might get one anyway, just for the heck of it. So I went to Walmart today. Yeah, that was my first mistake. Um, they have set it up differently now, and now you have to walk all the way around this big gate and stand in line, and only five people in, five people out. It's like, la la la. And so I was going out of my mind. I was just like, please. And then you go in the door, and then people stand there. It's like, hello, get out of my way hello and they're just standing there talking to each other they're not five you know six feet apart they're just standing there chit and chatting and it's like you're right in the middle of the aisle where everybody has to get into the store move that frick out of the way you know it's like oh my god and of course me i'm just sitting there standing there fuming more and more and more and i'm not saying a word not saying a word and then another lady comes by and she looks at me and I look at her and I smile and she's like, mm -mm, not happening. And she looks at the ladies and she goes, move. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> and she winks at me and I was like, thank you. <laughs> I would have been standing there all bloody day. So anyway, so that was the beginning of my trials and tribulations. So then I go to the yarn aisle. Second mistake. It was decimated. There was nothing there. Like all the Bernat gone. It was like, I was just like, wow, really? Like, come on, Walmart, pick up your game here and start stocking your freaking shelves. Oh, I, was, I couldn't believe it. So... I did find some gray yarn that I need. I'm, I'm doing this project. I didn't bring it in because it's not finished and it's big and heavy. It's called a blanket sweater. And believe me, it is definitely that. It is heavy and it is like a blanket. And I'm hoping when I get it done, it's going to look really nice. I did it a lot longer than the pattern says. Um, the pattern says, you know, you do it up to your waist or whatever. And I went, no. Nah, let me go down further I'm gonna go down to my knees <laughs> yeah well <clears throat> I didn't take that into consideration when I got my yarn so of course I ran out of the gray so I thought that's okay I'll just go to Walmart and get some more <laughs> no not happening so I grabbed this gray and I was like oh I found it I found it I got it home and it's the wrong gray. So I went online onto Walmart and I've never done this before. I didn't even know I could do this before, but you can actually order online. I thought this was just in the States, but you can order online and have it shipped to you. So I did that. Now I'm second guessing myself going, did I order the wrong yarn? Because it's, it's going to take like God knows how long to get here. So 
now I've got project three sitting waiting because I have haven't got the yarn. I am surrounded by freaking yarn. You would think I would be able to find yarn to finish these projects, but no, 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 of course not. No, no. So I am waiting for a order from Walmart. I am waiting for an order from Premier and I'm or waiting for an order from Michael's, I think. Uh, no, no, Hobie, Hobie. I'm waiting for a, a order from them. So, yeah. Can we be done with this Corona thing, please? Like, I am just so sick of it. I, I'm, uh, I'm really sick of it. I went on a rant on Facebook about the whole thing. Like, I'm just... I don't like going out anymore. I am agitated beyond belief. I'm getting depressed. Um, I don't want to see people. It's too people-y out there. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk to anybody on the phone. I'm, I'm even having a problem going into a Zoom because I just... It's like, just hide me away from the world. I don't want. Mm -mm -mm. So for me to be in front of the camera right now, it's pretty big right at the moment because I'm just, oh, I don't know. I, something is changing in me. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not that fun to be around right now. <laughs> um, I think my sister has a lot to do with it. Uh, I haven't been able to go see her since her first couple of surgeries. Um, and uh, cause I had that cold and then now I'm terrified to go and see her. her. She has no immune system anymore. She's just, it's scary, you know, and, um, with George still working, I don't know if he's bringing me any bugs home, you know, like cold virus or anything. I'm not talking about Corona. I'm just talking about just plain old cold. Right. So I'm terrified to go see her. And so she, and then I asked her if she wanted to do video chatting and she got it all mixed up because her, her, her mind is still not functioning properly. Um, she's, her memory's shot um and it's she's i don't know she's just not comprehending some stuff properly and so when i said that i guess she read it wrong or didn't understand what i was saying but she thought i meant do i want to do a video with her to show the world and she was like no 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 <laughs> no 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 and i was like oh but what I meant was, do you want to do like a Zoom together with just you and me? Or do you want to do messenger chat or whatever? So when she said no, and that was like a month ago, I went into a big depression. And I was just like, oh my God, like my sister doesn't even want to see me. Right? Like she doesn't, she's so worried about um, the way she looks that she doesn't even want to see me. So I was, I, I kind of went. A little cuckoo Lulu. <laughs> um, and then she called me this morning and we talked and I explained to her, I says, well, you know, there's this thing called Zoom and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, that's what you meant. And I was like, yeah, what did you think I meant? And she's like, oh, I thought you meant doing a video to show everybody. And I was like, no, I says, no, I wouldn't do that to you unless you, you wanted to. Um, and she's like, oh, she's like, yeah, I could do like a messenger or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I felt a lot better about that today. And uh, I had a real heart to heart with her. And I said, you know, I haven't seen you in a few months now. And I'm just, I, whew. 
try and do this without crying. Um, <clears throat> I says, you know, I'm, I'm so worried. I'm never going to be able to hug you again because I'm so terrified of giving you something, you know, and she's like, no, she says, we'll be able to have lots of hug time. And she says, we just have to be really careful. And I says, yeah, but I, I don't want to be the one to, you know, hug, hug you. And then you catch a cold, you know, and I said, I, I just can't do that, you know? And she says, cause she was talking about me going over there now and <clears throat> sitting outside and sitting at the table, we're six feet apart, mask, gloves and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, you know, it's so impersonal. You know, we are a huggy, kissy family, and that's the way that we show how we care, how much we care about each other is we give big hugs, and I don't think I can do that with her for out of fear, and it's really messing me up. Um, our relationship is, is going to be different. And that hurts deeply. So anyway, um, so we had a good talk anyhow, and, uh, she knows how I feel. So we're just going to have to figure it out, I guess, on to other things. So yeah, the whole Walmart thing was a disaster and I was so traumatized by all the people in there. <laughs> I just, I couldn't get home fast enough. But before I came home, I ended up going to Burger King, which I never do because I hate, because I hate Burger King. And I actually had a burger and, and poutine because I was just so and my anxiety and everything was so huge and I was just going oh my god like what has the world done to me you know like this is just not good so anyway so I did that that was my third mistake <laughs> so I um I went to Superstore I don't know if the States has Superstore or not I think it's just a Canadian thing but anyway they had hand sanitizer but this is a liquid hand sanitizer and this is made is this I don't even know if this is backwards forwards it should, uh, should be okay and anyway this is made by distilleries see how liquidy it is so um I don't know how this is gonna work it says kills harmful bacteria and germs uh, it says it's 80% alcohol. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, glycerol and water. So, um, yeah, this is what they're selling now. And I guess the distiller, the distilleries have been putting stuff out and this is it. How the heck are you supposed to put this on your hands without it going all over hell and creation? I don't know. Um, so I've got to figure out a spray bottle situation or something and then try to do. I, I got it because I thought George could use it in his van. But I know George. He'll end up going dump and then it'll be all over the place. And so I've got to try and find a foolproof way for him to be able to deal with this. Because right now what he's doing is he's putting his cleaner, his carpet cleaning solution on his hands and disinfecting himself that way. I know his carpet cleaning solution is safe, but it's still chemical, right? And I don't, I don't really like the fact that he's using that as a hand sanitizer and it's full strength, like it's not diluted. So I'm, I got to figure out how to do this so that he can use it. So anyway, um, 
Yeah, I haven't even smelled this yet. Oh, it's not. It's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. It almost smells like witch hazel. Um, so that's not bad. Okay. I think it's really diluted vodka, but you know, <laughs> I'm not going to drink it to find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, I've got three whips. They're all three sweaters. One is the tutorial that I've been working on. And then I ran out of yarn for the tutorial. I had the collar left to do and I ran out of yarn. <clears throat> so that's why I put that last tutorial out for the cuff because every, everybody was wondering about the cuff. So I thought, okay, I'll put that one out. And, uh, and then when I get my yarn, I'll put the rest of the video. Most of it's done. It's just the collar part that I have to do. So, um, I just, I haven't done this probably since the beginning of when I started my YouTube channel, but I'm, I'm thinking about doing this anyway. Um, shout outs. Uh, I haven't done any shout outs in, in a long time. When YouTube started up with the whole grow channel thing and then everything blew up and they took off, um, in the live chats, they, you were able to click on the little dots beside the name in the live chat and then you could um, subscribe to their channel. They stopped doing that. So I thought, okay, well, um, I'm going to do a shout out, but it's a long one. Okay. I went through all of the channels that I'm subscribed to and I found out who is under a thousand subscribers okay and these numbers probably changed because i i did this uh, a few days ago so number one tracy from i love loopy crochet and treasures congratulations she hit her 1000 a few days ago or a week ago and uh it was awesome i am so happy for you sweetheart couldn't have happened to a nicer gal your sweaters, your shirts just slay me. I just, you do such an awesome job. Oh, I just, I love watching everything that you make. You're, you're fantastic. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. Let's go down this list. Uh, oh, um, wait a minute. Sharon's Crochet Corner. I don't... I think she hit a thousand too. And Dina Homespun Fun. I think they all hit their thousand mark. Yay! Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So go check out their channels. Okay, now these ones I know are under a thousand. Uh, one might not be. She might be over yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Coco Crochet Lee. Um, Lee has an awesome channel. She's, oh, again, makes wonderful stuff. Um, last I checked, she was at 979 subscribers. So I'm going to leave all these links down below. It's going to be a lot of typing for me, but I will do it. <laughs> okay. Coco, C-O-C-O, -O, Crochet Lee. Okay. Go check her out. Natalie's Closet. Hello. Who doesn't know Natalie? If you aren't subscribed to her channel, you should be. Go check her out. Hooks and Horseshoes. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Natalie is at 765 the last time I checked. What? I can't even believe that. She should have been up by over a thousand long ago. So let's get her up there, okay? Um, Hooks and Horseshoes. This is a new channel that I just found. They're at 594. Vera, Vera's Crochet, Veronica. Oh, I don't understand why she's not at a thousand. She should have been up there. She's kind of been MIA a little bit uh, lately because of this whole Corona thing. And she's got a storefront that she's um, trying to get up and running. So uh, she was at 762, which is astounding. I just... 
and not in a good way. I, I can't even believe that she hasn't hit um, her thousand. So Vero's crochet. Uh, Gary's urban yarn. This guy's on fire, right? He's at around 800 subscribers. He's a blast. He's doing yarn dyeing now. Oh, if I could use wool, man, I'd be buying yarn off him. He does the greatest color schemes. It's just, I just love Gary. He's great. Have a yarn with Charlie. Hello. 882 subscribers. She should have been way over a thousand long ago too. So um, go check her out. Give her some, some yarny love. Hook me up crochet. Uh, was at 632 last time I looked. Grandma Benny, 432. What? I can't believe that. Go give her some love because she's a sweetheart. Uh, Witch Piece Craft, Judy. She was at 803. We need to get her up above, um, up above a thousand as well. Wildflower Loops. She's at 233. Cabin Fever Crochet is at 651. Uh, she's a, a new one that I had just found not too long ago. A Yarn Addict with Karen. Uh, she's at 532. She's a sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Um, I just love her opening. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm a yarn addict. <laughs> She's just awesome. <laughs> um, Brown Owl Crochet Fun. Isla, love you. She is at 427. Again, should have been up. Like, and, like, she, like go, go see her. She's awesome. Unchained Crochet, 434. She's another new one that I just found out. Uh, the Crochet Witch. She's at 648. Oh, hooking in good company. Jackie, if you haven't seen Jackie, you've got to go and see Jackie. She is hilarious and she doesn't even know it. She makes me laugh every video, whenever she's in a live, she just has us roaring because she's just so blunt and so she's just hilarious. So she's at 525. Still, again, shocking. Um, so go, go check her out. <laughs> <She's, laughs> if there was ever a yarn addict, it would be Jackie. <laughs> she has two houses in two different parts of the world and both of her houses are full of yarn. <laughs> It just, oh, it kills me. Um, alpaca My Yarn uh, and Crochet Mat, Mads Designs. Um, she's at $4.95. Please go and give her some yarny love. She is, oh, she's a sweetheart. She really is. Um, she helped me and my sister out. Uh, when my sister was in the hospital and having her brain surgeries and that girl just yeah um, the last one I've got is kept in stitches with Julie she's so cute she's she's such a sweetie last time I looked she was at 731 so please go to all of these channels subscribe to them they're well worth it um, I love them all. They, they all touched my heart in one way or another. So, um, please go, go, go do the things. Okay. Go do those things. All the subscribes and likes and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, another thing, just in case you guys wanted to know, <laughs> this is my birthday month. Yes. My birthday is on May 15th and, um, so I am thinking about doing a birthday giveaway uh, for my birthday, obviously. So I thought, well, um, I don't know what to give away yet. 
but I will I will think about it. I'm thinking maybe a sweater. One of my cardigans. Uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, so May 15th, uh, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, so keep, keep yourself posted on that. Keep yourself posted. Come check me out <laughs> on my birthday and, uh, and we will get that out of the way. Get, you know, get it. Oh, I need something to drink or something. Cause yeah, it's just, it's been one of those days. Yes. Um, I don't think I have anything else to, I'm afraid to start any more projects because see, I may have a lot of yarn, but most of what I have is like one or two balls of, uh, a color because I usually, I buy only one ball to make a hat, right? Cause I get my hat, my, my hat stock up for winter time. And I only need one or two balls for that. So for me to do a big project, which I've been starting to do now, I need multiples. So I'm like surrounded by yarn and I don't have multiples of any yarn. So I'm kind of going about that. Uh, all of this yarn here is wool. I'm thinking about putting that in a giveaway as well. Um, I'm not sure when, but that will be coming. Um, what else? Okay. Uh, also, um, I've mentioned it in previous videos way back, but for all the new people that don't know, I do have a second channel. A lot of you probably don't know this. I have a second channel. It's called Sandy's Crafty Creations. I will leave that link down below. Uh, and it's a craft channel. And so if you're a crafter and you love doing different kinds of crafts, I have videos of me doing a craft. I show you what the craft is. I tell you what you need. And then I speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit and watch me gluing stuff. Um, and it's all done to music. And so if you're interested, go check it out, right? Um, I would love to have you over there. I haven't done a video in a while, but because I started this channel and then I kind of put that channel on the back burner, but there's a lot of content over there that's not getting watched. <laughs> so go check that one out. Um, what else? Oh, for anybody that wants the, the selfie stick or the tripod which is also a selfie stick and has the remote I'll leave that link down below in the Amazon links ah uh, what else can't think of anything else and I know I'm gonna click off the camera and then I'm gonna go oh I forgot it happens to me every time so yeah okay so I think that's all I have to say for the moment so see look at this now that I'm using my, my cell phone camera, you can see way more yarniness. Way more. <laughs> so anyways. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Mwah, 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 mwah.